Hi welcome to Videocaster Tutorial. Videocaster is a video mixing and switching software. We have 8 video sources with preview windows for each input source. 8 video sources are given to play video files, network files and live using input cards like Blackmagic Design and Streamlabs. Blackmagic Design video cards and Streamlabs video cards are supported to get live video from composite and SDI inputs. There is separate playlist for each video source to run videos with pause at end option. Powered with 15 video transitions like fade, wheel, blinds and more. You can record and stream final video output to any format. You can use 8 video sources as a picture in picture with border and masks. Built in audio mixer for every source volume adjustment. You can also use 2D and 3D virtual sets with advanced chroma key feature. Chroma key can be used on each and every of 8 video sources. Video Caster is powered with Smart Character Generator Title Caster to overlay text and graphics. Now I will add one video to the source one. After adding video source 1 preview is active. After this I am adding another video to source 2 source 2 preview is now active. Now I add a green screen video in source 3 to show you how to chroma key a video. For source 4 I am adding another green screen video. I added 4 videos to 4 video input sources and all sources are active and ready to use. We have 8 video windows and in each window we can switch our 8 video inputs in different sizes, masks and movements. I am switching on video 1 now my video window 1 is on final output and this video 1 I can switch any of my 8 video source. Now I press source 1 switch in video 1 and my source 1 is displaying in video 1 window also note that audio 1 is as low active. Now I press Source 2 switch in Video 1 and Source 2 is displaying in Video 1 window. I will increase transition duration from low seconds to 2 seconds. Now I press Source 3 switch in Video 1 and Source 3 is displaying in Video 1 window with the applied transition fade. I have changed the transition to apply between the sources. Now I press Source 4 switch in Video 1 and Source 4 is displaying in Video 1 window with the applied transition fade. Notice the transition applied on video 1 is done smoothly and the source is changed with a smoothness. Now I will add a 2D virtual set as background. After adding background I will set chroma key by clicking chroma key button of a respective source you need to chroma. We have auto chroma key and can also select colors to chroma key after applying chroma key my video input source is nicely visible on the 2D virtual background. You can do chroma key on multiple sources simultaneously now I switch on video 2 on the final output and in video 2 I am going to switch on source 4 to use. You can see source 4 is visible in video 2 window which is displaying over video 1. Now I use chroma key on source 4 and applied chroma key you can see two videos with one virtual set background. I will use video settings for the respective video window you can set the video size and position using video settings of each video window. Like this you can use multiple video sources on final output. Now I will demonstrate how to add videos as playlist in a source. Select the source tab and click add video button, the video is added in the playlist of source all videos will be played as their order. Using right click on the list you can play, delete and change the order of video. You can also set auto pause to pause automatically each file when the file is played. You can add network file to the source playlist by entering the address in the given text box. Like this you can set your 8 sources. Now I will show how to add live as video source, here is the live input settings, I click on live setting of source. And now all live video devices are select the audio device you need to add and also select audio device. So also after selecting input devices I close the live settings and now the live source is added in the respective source. Like this you can add 8 live sources to use and inputs. Now I will show you how to apply effects on a video window. 
I have added two videos sources and both sources active to use. I pressed video 1 switch to show final output you can see that video 1 window is active. Now I press video settings for video 1. You can set height by changing height values and width of video 1 by changing width values by moving respective trackbar or changing the values. You can change position of video by move X and move Y. Transparency of video can be set by changing opacity. Video zoom can also be applied to the video. Repeat X and repeat Y will change the axis of video in horizontal and vertical direction. Rotation is used to rotate video in minus 360 degree and plus 360 degree. Distance will change the depth of video. Tilt H is to tilt video horizontally. Tilt V is to tilt video vertically. Now have a close look on border which is presently none I am changing border style you can see the border is changed now I can set my border size and border color. After this I will show you video mask we have 4 different video masks to apply. There are 4 masks to give your video a smarter look. Aspect ratio will change the aspect ratio of video. Reset is given to reset all the values to default. Now I will show you the important thing about effect all changes made to position, size, style of a video can be saved using save button. This saved effect will appear in my effects tab as a thumbnail. All effects saved can be applied to to any of 8 videos by selecting them respectively. Once again I will show you that you can change the position of video using mouse also like this, depth of video can be set using mouse scroll button. For tilting horizontal and vertical you have to keep pressed right click mouse button and by moving mouse you can set tilting. Now back to effects tab here are our saved effects and I will show you how apply saved effect on a video. You can apply the effects to video in the duration from 0 to 10 seconds which makes the effects to change in given seconds value and give a smart look to applied effect. Remember the effect is applied to the selected video which you have selected. Just double click on the effect you can see the effect on video selected. Remember you can only change effect duration by moving track bar before applying the effect to the respective video. Now I will show you how to save scenes and switch scenes. In the scenes tab we are having add and save button. Add button is used to add a new scene, remember when you press add a duplicate scene is created in scene library and gets active to work. And when you press save all scenes are saved and the active scene is updated automatically. Delete button appears on the scene thumbnail. Just double click the scene you want to set active it will be active on final output immediately without any gap with all its respective settings. Now I will show how to create and save multi picture in picture. I am adding a video background video, fine it's added now. Now I will add 4 video sources. I added source 1. I added source 2. I added source 3. I added source 4. All my 4 sources are active now to work. I pressed video 1 switch and added source 1 to it. Now I will make video 1 up hit by changing the video size and position. Well it's set now. Now I will save this scene with one active source as picture in picture. I pressed video 2 switch and added source 2 to it. Now I will make video 2 a pip by changing the video size and position. Well it's set now. Now I will save this scene with two active sources as two picture in picture. I pressed video 3 switch and added source 3 to it. Now I will make video 3 a pip by changing the video size and position. Well it's set now. Now I will save this scene with 3 active sources as 3 picture in picture. I pressed video 4 switch and added source 4 to it. Now I will make video 4 a pip by changing the video size and position. Well it's set now. Now I will save this scene with 4 active sources as 4 picture in picture. 
In scene tab here are my all saved screen which I saved with different and different picture in picture. Just by double click on respective scene this action will set the scene active on final output with the active sources you saved the scene. The audio track bar gets active and green with the respective video window you switched on. You can also adjust the audio level of each video window using the respective audio level adjustments.